Hey guys, it's Kyle again, and welcome back to Modern Warfare 2 Season 4. Today we're checking out the unhinged variant for the mini bike. As you can see, you unlock it here. It comes in the D12 sector of the battle pass. Pretty good looking variant. It's similar to the Expedite variant. But yeah, guys, as always, we're going to get into some gameplay of this variant. And if you guys are new around here, be sure to like and subscribe for more. So yeah, this is the class I made around the variant. You know, having a giant muzzle on it doesn't make it too ugly. The archer is at stock. It doesn't appear in first person. I keep saying this over and over but in modern warfare or cold war or vanguard it happened in like all three games i think changing the stock on a weapon variant it would change the body of the gun like the underside of the entire gun it was really annoying but on this game thankfully it doesn't really have an effect on your first person perspective of which stock you use so overall i'd say this class is pretty good this is the weapon tuning for the muzzle this is the weapon tuning for the barrel this is the weapon tuning for the laser this is the weapon tuning for the stock this is the weapon tuning for the grip and yeah that's the class guys and enjoy the video all right so this is what the variant looks like it's really clean I was actually really happy when I found out this gun was coming back from modern warfare this is the bison for people that don't know I didn't really have a chance to properly use this gun. I just I just ranked it up at the start of the game, that's it. When the game first came out. This gun is so good. This was my favourite SMG in Modern Warfare 2019. I don't know what it was about it, but it was just such a satisfying SMG. The recoil was a bit more sporadic than this, just all over the place. My favourite thing about it was how fast the aim walking movement speed was. On this game, it doesn't feel as fast, but it does feel really good regardless. I actually really hope that Sledgehammer bring this gun back in Modern Warfare 3. I mentioned this a few times in my last few videos, I think. With Modern Warfare 3 supposedly being a year 2 map pack for this game, or a year 2 DLC for Modern Warfare 2, Activision obviously realised they'd make more money out of packaging it as a full game. That's why Sledgehammer are actually making this card. You know, Vanguard only came out at the end of 2021, so it is surprising to see Sledgehammer on this game, or on Modern Warfare 3, I mean. Something I was talking about was... If Modern Warfare 3 originally was supposed to be a year 2 map pack, they were going to have a bunch of different maps from old CODs like High Rise and Scrapyard and all that stuff. Whatever they were going to do with the campaign, Infinity Ward's version of Modern Warfare 3, they're probably going to just do what they were planning on doing with Modern Warfare 3's campaign, so I think Makarov will be in this campaign. But the main thing I was talking about was... If this was supposed to be a year 2 DLC, then which guns were supposed to be in Modern Warfare 3? Or should I say this year 2 map pack that was that it was rumoured to be? Because if they did follow through this rumoured year 2 map pack, then they could have done the campaign, the multiplayer map, and an entirely new set of guns for the game. Because there's no way they'd do different versions of the AK-47, the M4, the MP5, the P90, and all the other types of guns. They wouldn't do that for a year 2 DLC. It doesn't make sense. But now that Sledgehammer are working on this game, Modern Warfare 3, and it's going to be its own card, will the guns that are in this game be different versions of the Modern Warfare 2 guns we're using now, or will all the guns in Modern Warfare 3 be brand new guns that aren't in this game? Do you get what I mean? Because with the Modern Warfare Trilogy, for example, the original one, you had all three games having different versions of the MP5, the M4, P90, you know, with pistols and shotguns and snipers. So I feel like Ledgehammer could do that, but they could also use the supposed guns that were supposed to be in the year 2 map pack that are completely brand new and different from the guns that are in this game because there's a lot of missing guns from the original Modern Warfare trilogy that aren't in this game. Guns that were in Modern Warfare 2019 have the FAL, the Famine, 
iconic guns that have been in all four Modern Warfare games prior to this one that aren't in this one. It could just be Sledgehammer's version of these guns, but obviously not an exact rip-off of this game. Like, every single gun from this game in Modern Warfare 3. They'd get a lot of backlash and they'd be called lazy for doing that. So I don't think every gun from this game would return. But at the same time, depending on how long they've been developing this stuff for, they might have not put out any guns at all for the year 2 DLC. They might have just put out one for every category or they could have just done the standard three or four we get every season but it seems like modern warfare 3 will be this year's card instead of a year two dlc so we'll never know how many guns they're actually planning to put in year two but it's just interesting to talk about like what what guns are going to be in the next card will it be a completely brand new set of guns or will it be just like the other Modern Warfare games where it's different versions of the guns that were in previous versions of Modern Warfare. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I always say, if you are new around here, be sure to like and subscribe for more Season 4 videos. And I will see you on the next video.